I was recently talking with a friend who's um, fixing to get married um, early next year, and they're in the process of planning their honeymoon, and they're going to go um, to Texas, and uh, it just got me thinking, Texas is a state I've never been to, and that kind of got me to thinking about the states I have visited, so today I thought I'd do a little video on the states I have been to. Um, before I get started, I will mention I have been to Washington, D.C., enjoyed it a lot, but of course not a state, so it won't be on the list, so, but I have been to the District of Columbia, so check that off the list. Um, I'll start off with Georgia. I'm from Georgia. Anybody who's watched my channel for a while knows this. I've lived in Georgia my entire life. Um, one side of my family has actually lived in the same area of Georgia since the 1840s, so obviously I have deep roots to the state. Um, absolutely love it. Um, part of my job, it does involve tourism, so I've got a chance to learn a lot more about the state of Georgia since I've began my career. And one of the things I really love about Georgia is it's a very diverse state. Um, you have the North Georgia Mountains, where it's absolutely beautiful, great for hiking, um, rafting, um, just beautiful um, sites, um, great uh, small town feel throughout North Georgia, a lot of small towns, not only big cities in North Georgia, so love North Georgia, and then of course you have um, Atlanta and the metro Atlanta area, so you have all the sports and concerts and entertainment options that comes with it being a big city like Atlanta that's actually great and all the history that's in Atlanta is awesome. But then a lot of people kind of overlook the southern part of Georgia, but Georgia has, does have a coast. A lot of people forget it does border the Atlantic Ocean, so there's some beautiful um, islands that border the coast. Um, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful cities, not just in the country, but in the world, Savannah. If you've never been to Savannah, I'd encourage you to visit it at least once. It's absolutely a beautiful, beautiful city. Um, highly recommend it. I've been to Savannah a few times and I always enjoy my visits. Uh, it's one of those cities that's wonderful to walk around, take tours of. Beautiful city. So if you ever have a chance to visit Savannah, I highly encourage you to do it. Um, there's some other great cities in South Georgia like Macon, and Columbus, Albany. Um, cities like that have, have a lot of history to it. So a uh, very diverse state. So Georgia has my recommendations. <laughs> But now on to more of the states I've visited through my life. Um, I'll start off with North Carolina. Don't have a whole lot of experience in North Carolina. Um, my first two years in college, I went to a college that's right on the border of Georgia and North Carolina. So my experiences with North Carolina mainly involved trips where I was just driving across the border. I, really, my college was five minutes from the North Carolina border. So there was a few restaurants that happened to be on the North Carolina side. But out of all the states I've visited, I probably have spent the least amount of time in North Carolina. I've never really had a chance to explore the state, so I can't really comment too much on North Carolina. South Carolina is probably the state, on the other hand, that I've visited the most. Uh, my family, um, my parents, my sister, traditionally um, take um, the same summer vacation every year. We go to Myrtle Beach in South Carolina. Um, I'm 28 years old, and I believe I've been to Myrtle Beach I'd say at this point probably 23 or 24 times. There's only been a few summer vacations um, where something came up where we went somewhere else or I was able to go on vacation. Um, but Myrtle Beach has always kind of almost felt like a second home to me because we go every year so you get to know the people that run the restaurants. Um, you get to know just and see the town change um, like you do your own hometown. So I love Myrtle Beach. Um, also I'd highly recommend Charleston. Charleston's a very similar city to Savannah so if you've been to Savannah go to Charleston. If you've been to Charleston and like it, go to Savannah. Um, but enjoy Myrtle Beach. That's the part of the state I've had the most experience with. I love Myrtle Beach. Very family-friendly um, beach area with a lot of entertainment. Um, I'm a huge miniature golf fan. There's miniature golf courses all over Myrtle Beach. <laughs> love it. They have a minor league baseball team, which I always enjoy to go on the games on there. There's a lot of cool stuff in Myrtle Beach that I really enjoy. Uh, next time I'll go to Florida. Um, unlike most people, I have haven't went to Florida as much. Um, a lot of people in the South, Florida is a really popular um, vacation destination, but I've only been it to a handful of times. I've been to Day Daytona, um, Port Canaveral, um, Panama once when I was a little kid, but I was so young I can barely remember. It was okay. Daytona, I just to me there wasn't a whole lot in Daytona entertainment-wise and stuff to do other than the beach. Once you got done with enjoying the ocean and the beach, they didn't really seem to do a whole lot around the Daytona area to really do other than the, the Speedway, and obviously they're not having races at the Speedway all the time. So Florida, <clears throat> I've just never really enjoyed my experiences too much with Florida. Um, in all fairness, I've explored the state a lot, never been to Miami and some other great beaches in the state, never been to um, Orlando, enjoyed Disney and all the attractions there, so I can't 
give a complete thumbs down, but haven't been too thrilled with my experiences with um, Florida. Um, next I'll move on to Tennessee. Tennessee, my experiences with Tennessee mainly relate to two cities, Chattanooga and Nashville. Um, if you're familiar with the, the Georgia-Tennessee geography, you'll, you're well aware that Chattanooga is very close to the state borders. Um, so there's a lot of cross connection between the two. Um, so a lot of um, schools will take field trips up to the Chattanooga area. So when I was a kid, we took several field trips to Chattanooga. Chattanooga has a real nice aquarium. Um, also Chattanooga is Rock City, which is an amazing uh, place to visit. We also get to see Ruby Falls. So there's a lot of natural beauty in Chattanooga because it's located right in the mountains. But yet they've done a great job of making Chattanooga a really nice, charming little city. It's one of those cities that's pretty good size population-wise, but they've done a good job of making it almost has a real small town feel to it. Um, so I'd really encourage you to visit Chattanooga if you've never been there before. Um, another experience that um, city I have a lot of experience is Nashville, and that mainly relates to college football. I'm a huge Georgia Bulldogs fan, which you know if you watch this channel. And one team that Georgia plays every season is Vanderbilt, which is located in Nashville. And I've been to um, the Georgia Bandy game in Nashville three times. Uh, Nashville is a very nice city. Vanderbilt is a very beautiful campus. Um, I haven't really explored Nashville much outside of Vanderbilt, so I can't really comment on that, but Vandy's a really nice campus, and I always enjoy my visits there, so Tennessee's a real nice city from my, uh, sorry, state from my experiences. Um, next on, I'll go to Alabama. Not a huge fan of Alabama, and there's a um, big kind of rivalry between Georgia and Alabama, but most people who live in Georgia, their almost natural pastime is to make jokes about how dumb people are that live in Alabama. <laughs> Um, it's just a little bit of a rivalry, but um, I've been to Alabama a few times, um, Birmingham, Huntsville, um, took a field trip to the NASA um, Center in Huntsville, which is kind of interesting, um, but I've just never really been that entertained by any of my stops in Alabama. It's always been a little on the boring side to me, so Alabama, eh, not too much. I would like to visit Mobile at some point. I've always heard that Mobile is a really nice city, um, but I haven't had a chance to yet. Next state I'll mention is Mississippi. Uh, Mississippi is another state, the only reason I've ever been to, because <clears throat> of college football. Um, I once went to see Georgia play Ole Miss in Oxford, mainly because Ole Miss has a reputation of had one of the best tailgate experiences in college football. Um, if you're a big college football fan, you've heard of the Grove before. It's where all the Mississippi f football fans tailgate for the game. It is actually an amazing college football experience. I'd encourage anybody that considers himself a true college football fan to go to a game at Mississippi once just to experience the Grove because I don't think TV really gives it justice. I'd seen it on TV before and I'm like, oh, that's overrated. But once I saw it in person, um, I was really impressed. The rest of Mississippi, I wasn't too impressed by. We drove through North Mississippi and um, I always heard Mississippi is poor and wow, it's really, really poor. I also spent some time in Tupelo. That's where we stayed before we went to the game. And Tupelo was one of the most run-down cities I'd ever seen in my life. So I wasn't too impressed with Mississippi outside of the college game day experience at Oxford, Mississippi. Next up, I'll go to Kentucky. Kentucky is another state I've only been to because of college football. I went to see Georgia play Kentucky once in Lexington. Um, Lex um, Kentucky is a beautiful state to drive through um, with all the horse farms. Um, it's really beautiful. Um, University of Kentucky's campus is really nice. I really enjoyed it. Um, nothing but good things to say, Kentucky. I can't really think of anything bad that during my trip that happened. I really enjoyed my visit to Kentucky. Only been once, so I can't comment too much on it, but really enjoyed it. Um, lastly, um, another state that I've only been to because of college football. <laughs> I travel a lot for college football games. Arizona. A few years ago, Georgia played Arizona State in Tempe, Arizona. And I really went almost because I thought, wow, I'm not sure if I'll have, an, have another reason to visit Arizona. Let me just take this chance. So uh, me and my friend, we actually went out a few days before the game, um, stayed three days in downtown Phoenix, which I say I loved downtown Phoenix. It's a very walkable downtown area for a uh, big city. Um, all the restaurants and shopping is really close. We were stayed a f um, just a few blocks from the Arizona Diamondbacks um, Stadium, so we caught a game every night we were there. Enjoyed some great restaurants. Really enjoyed the time in Phoenix. Tempe, where Arizona State was at, um, was it too impressed with? Um, nothing in Tempe really impressed me. It just it didn't seem to have any character. Um, so high regard for Phoenix, low regard for Tempe. 
and boy was it hot while we were there. It was over 100 degrees. Um, I had never been that hot in my life. Phoenix and Tempe were both insanely hot. I don't see how people live in that part of the country during the summer. I can maybe understand during the winter, but during the summer, how in the world do you make it? I do not know. But those are the states I've been to, as you can see. I barely, really haven't traveled out of the South much, other than my trip to Arizona. Um, and a lot of my travels do involve college football. I'll be the first to admit I'm not the most, um, I'm not the biggest explorer in the world. I just don't go on random road trips like some other people do to other states. Um, I kind of I plan my stuff out a lot more. My family gets very much traditional vacations where we go to the same place every year. So I haven't been to as many states as some people have. If it really wasn't for college football, there's a lot of states I would never went to that I've had got the chance to go to because of college football. So whatever your reason is, travel, I encourage you to check out the states around you. Don't let you get yourself stuck in the state you live in. Um, go around and explore some. Uh, I'm going to try to visit some states um, that I haven't been to when I was putting together this list. It really made me think of some areas in the United States I really would like to visit that I haven't yet. So hopefully in the years to come, I'll get to add to this list. So hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any places you've visited in the United States that you think, hey, Kyle, you have to go visit that. It's one of the cool places I've ever been to. Please just let me know in the comments, and I'll um, look forward to seeing what you have to say. So hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.